What is going on everybody at Open Arms? Welcome to week number three of our program built and customized just for you. This week, we're gonna look at an informal practice and then a formal practice. Last week, we looked at thoughts versus facts, thoughts, what might happen, may happen, could happen, or has happened in the past, the fact, what is actually happening now. I wanna share with you one of the tips and tricks that I've been using a lot, and I mean a lot informally during these wild times of the last two years. And it's the practice of what is present. See, I was preparing for this fairly large webinar, and I was talking to hundreds of people, and I was kind of anxious about it, which, to be honest, is fairly rare for me to be very anxious about a webinar, because I do so many of them. And I kept asking myself, why am I so anxious? And I'm like, well, maybe because it's really important, or maybe it's because it's for the government, and this and that. I started making up all these reasons why, 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 why. Stop. And I asked myself, what is present here? And when I asked myself what was present, it was easy. Anx anxiety or anxiousness was present. Then I asked myself the second question, where is it the most present? So for me, it was a combination in thoughts. So I was seeing this happening or I was hearing my inner talk. And as well, I could feel it in my chest. So we have what is present, anxiety. Where is it present for me here and here? And the last one I asked myself, is what is the purpose behind this? Because this anxiety has a purpose. And I, when I really looked at it, when I zoomed out and looked at it objectively, this purpose was to prepare me. Prepare, prepare me for what, you asked? Great question. Prepare me to be ready for my webinar. To make sure that I was ready for the webinar, that I was prepped with the recent data, that I was prepped to prepare it, to make sure that the audience, hopefully they would connect with them. My anxiety was trying to get me ready. So the next time that you're caught in something, break it down, what is present? Break it down, where is it present? Break it down, what is the purpose behind it? Try that out, that's our informal practice. Again, I'll attach it in the link below. All you have to do is press play. Now our formal practice this week is asking yourself, no matter what you're experiencing. So let's say for example, kids are supposed to go back to school Monday, which was yesterday for me. Kids go back to school. I'm like, okay, I have all these things to do. And then we get this big snowstorm. So I'm a little angry and a little frustrated. I'm like, okay, I guess we're gonna do another day working from home, doing the webinars with the kids home. Then my wife goes outside, sees that her windshield is smashed and somebody took a rock to it and smashed it. So then we had to call the cops. And then all of a sudden it's like all these things and the day I thought it was gonna go a certain way, it was going the complete opposite way and I was angry. And then I was like, okay, I can't do this for the whole day. I have all these things to do. Slowed it down, I asked myself, can I deal with this anger for just this moment? And my answer was yes. Can I break it down and deal with my frustration for just this moment? My answer was yes. Now, my mind looked at the entire day and said, I don't wanna have to deal with this for the next X amount of time. Well, I didn't have to. You can break it down systematically and ask yourself, can I deal with this for just this moment? Can I deal with it for just this moment right now? Just this moment. And how we do this, we breathe in, we say, just this moment. We breathe out, we let it be here for just this moment. We breathe in, I'm noticing that this frustration is here for just this moment. Breathe out, I'm allowing it to be here for just this moment. We use this practice, short and sweet, to break it down to not looking at the next six hours or six months or six weeks, whatever it is. Ask yourself, can you let it be here for just this moment? Try this out this week. These two practices, informal, what is present, where is it present, what's its purpose? And then lastly, the formal practice, headphones on, do it, I'd say three or four times a week, the guided practice of just this moment. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just message me at mindfulmike.ca or of course you can DM me at mindfulmassey, M-A-S-S-E. Thank you for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.